Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. Here with another Demonic Sweaters type thingy about electronic drums and technology and all that crap. Anyway, this video is going to be about how to live stream using an Android device. And by live stream, I mean to YouTube or Facebook or you know Instagram or Twitch or wherever you like to live stream your videos. We're going to be hooking up my electronic drums plus a microphone up to my Android device, which is up there and we're going to be live streaming to YouTube. Well, I'm not actually going to be live streaming to YouTube right now, but I'll show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and get started on that. But before we do, check out my music. Why don't you follow me on Spotify or Apple Music? There's some links down below and uh, maybe you'll like it. So anyway, check that out and let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first things you're going to need is an Android device. If you don't have one already, but I'm assuming you do, if you're watching this video, you could do this uh, a few different ways, but the way we're going to be focusing on right now, I think is actually the way you're going to get the best quality, and that is by using a USB audio interface. And this is a really, really inexpensive USB device. Uh, and you can see it up there in the corner. This thing only costs $7.99 from Amazon. And this is a basically a really, really tiny and cheap USB audio interface. So you're gonna need that. You'll also need a mixer. I'm using a Behringer Micro Mixer, which is also very inexpensive. It's only 20 some dollars or 30, something like that. It's not very expensive, but any mixer will work. Uh, but I like the Micro Mixer just because it's small and I like to have a really compact setup. You'll also need a microphone that you'll, you know, if you plan on talking, uh, so you're gonna need a microphone and then you'll also need a micro USB to USB adapter for your Android. Or if your Android uses USB-C, then you'll need a USB C to USB A adapter as well. So anyway, I'll post links to all that stuff down below and I'm going to show you more detailed uh, hookup instructions here in a second. So like the main reason why I'm using USB opposed to the actual just regular headphone slash microphone jack that is already on most Android devices is because it just sounds better. Um, I've done this same exact test with both the built-in audio device as well as the USB audio device. And the USB audio device is just louder and it just sounds clearer and much, much better. Um, to get the built-in device as loud, I have to crank my mixer up to the point where it is like distorting. Pretty much any Android device or tablet this will work with. So anyway, all right, so let me go ahead and switch the camera over so you guys can see exactly how I have everything hooked up. And then I'll explain it all in a little more detail. Okay, so this is the setup, and you might have seen my other video about uh, using Skype and Zoom and stuff like that, and this is kind of a similar setup that I used there. Um, however, it's just a little bit different. So first off, let's go over the components. First off, I have my electronic drums, I have my little Behringer micro mixer, I have my tablet, and this is basically just a contraption that I have to hold the tablet because I don't have a lot of space. You could use a tripod, but I just don't have room for one. Um, I also have a little clip-on wide-angle lens, and this also has to do with my limited amount of space. You may or may not need that. Um, so, But the basics here, you're going to need the Android device, the adapter that goes from micro USB or USB-C to USB, and this is the USB audio interface right here, and then what I have going on here is coming out from the mixer, I'm going into my USB audio, audio interface and then going out from the headphone outfo output of my audio interface, I'm going back into my module, uh, into the aux in of the module or mix in, however it's worded on whatever you have. Um, this actually isn't even necessary for uh, streaming but I just have that hooked up uh, so if I want to play back a video, I can hear it through my drum module uh, but not really necessary. Anyway, I'm running out of the mono quarter inch output in the back to my mixer, my Behringer Micro Mix. Now this is a mono mixer. You could do this same exact setup in stereo, but I'm doing everything in mono just because I think for streaming that it's fine and it's just easier and less cables to deal with. Uh, so, and plus I could use this little tiny mixer. That's why I like to do it in mono. And I'm plugging my microphone. This is a wireless mic. I have right here that's plugged into channel two of my mixer. And then like I showed you before, the output is going to the USB interface. So that is pretty much it. Now what you're looking at right here is actually open camera. And I'm using this to do some sample videos. And what I did is actually I recorded some with the USB audio interface. And then I also recorded some with the built-in microphone uh, input on the tablet. So you guys could hear the difference between those two and just how much better that USB audio interface actually is. So 
But anyway, let's get into the streaming thing. All we have to do here is just close that. And then we can go into YouTube. And then I could just tap the plus symbol and then just go to live. And basically just name my stream. And once I do all that, I just go next and press go live. And then I'm live. And that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple. And what's really cool about it is it's all right here, right in front of me on this tablet. And I can see the chat and everything. And, you know, I don't have to get up for my drums. I don't have to use a computer. Uh, it's all very convenient. So pretty simple, but effective. Now, another thing I want you guys to see is actually the difference that wide angle lens actually makes. So you can see right here that you can pretty much see all my drums and cymbals uh, with the wide angle lens. If I take that off, that's all you see. You don't even see my face. Uh, you see like the edges of a couple cymbals. Uh, so having the wide angle lens really makes a big difference. And since there's no built-in wide angle lens on most tablets and a lot of front facing cameras in general, uh, having this little clip on thing actually is very convenient. So that really helps and that's pretty much it. All right, so what you're looking at right now is my Samsung Galaxy Tab A, which is a very inexpensive tablet I picked up from Costco for $89. I think they're a little bit more if you buy them through Amazon. Uh, but it's a pretty inexpensive tablet and it's really not that bad. And I have my drums and my microphone going into the Behringer uh, Micro Mixer. And that's running out into the USB interface, the inexpensive U USB interface that I showed you guys. And that's going into the tablet via the uh, US micro USB adapter. So anyway, let me, let me go ahead and play the drums a little bit. And uh, I'll show you this and then I'll switch back over to the iRig setup and you guys can hear the difference between the two. So here we go. Alright, so now what you're looking at is the same exact setup. I haven't changed anything on the mixer. I, the only thing that I did is I switched the USB interface over to the iRig setup. So now you're looking at, or, or you're hearing rather, the iRig plugged in directly to the 8th uh, inch uh, audio jack on the tablet. So let me go ahead and play the drums like this and we'll hear what this sounds like. All right, so that's how you can live stream to YouTube using an Android device and a USB adapter. It's really not that difficult and you can get some pretty good results as well. Um, you know, it's not like the most high-end professional looking thing in the world, but if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to get some very decent results, I think it's really, really a good option. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. And once again, check out my links down below. You can follow me on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, anywhere that streams music. You can find demonic sweaters and uh, check out some of my music. I think you might like it. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care. Let me go ahead and switch the camera over, and you guys can see. Let me go ahead and switch the camera. Let me go ahead and switch the camera over, and you guys can see how I have this all. Are you kidding me? Yeah.